With all the talk about death and impending doom, I decided it was time for me to take my one and only vacation. But I would not be staying away from the deli like any sane person would. No. In the daytime, I prepared everything I needed for my vacation, and at night, I set up things in the deli. The plate carrier was rather expensive, but it would be worth it for a little peace of mind. Stanley showed up once while I was away, and rather than stare at me or charge me to end our age-old fight, he threw something at me and then ran back in the woods. He threw a shoebox that landed with a heavy thud. Inside the box was a note and the gun that the gremlins of the ceiling had stolen ages ago. The gun was fully loaded. The note looked like it had been written in charcoal with a simple message on it. Things are getting shitty. This is your one pass. Survive, for I am the only one who gets to end you. Shh, even Stanley was on edge. I set the gun in my bag, alongside the lighters, bottles of vodka, two other guns, ammunition, a machete, and some other random junk. I also carried a baggie of small metallic video cameras. I tried the cameras from the store, but they didn't capture much, even if they worked at all. Then it was time to establish a perimeter. Late that night, I drove to the store. With the lack of the moon at midnight gave me concealment. I started setting up my grid of wireless cameras around the outside of it. Rule number one states, use your home field advantage. Sometimes it's all you have. For some reason, the doors to the store are never locked and slid open easily with a tug. I began setting up my cameras around the store and ran out right as I got to the deli. Goosebumps riddled my skin as I stepped closer to it. I entered and seen the ceiling tile get quickly put back in place. If I had blinked, I would have missed it. Next, I got down to business. I took a caulk gun to the ceiling tiles. Once I began, I heard a very muffled noise, almost like an excited yelp. I lifted the ceiling tile only to see a gaggle of small greenish-blue creatures with the most stereotypical gnome outfits on, complete with tiny pointy hats. Now, brace yourself. Amongst all these creatures was a tied-up filbert. You know, the mother-flippin' new guy? He just looked at me with an excited panic behind his mask that had been used as a gag. The creatures were ever so slowly carrying him deeper into the ceiling toward the mysterious catwalks. I sighed before climbing up into the ceiling. How many times am I going to save this dumbass? I thought. After walking over and proceeding to punt the creatures one by one like little miniature footballs, I untied Filbert and told him to go home, forget what he had seen, and not to tell anyone about the creatures or me being in the store. He just looked at me with the most conflicted facial features. He was excited, scared, and rather confused all at the same time. I forced him down the ladder. So, um, how long were you up there, Phil? I asked, hurrying him along, trying to hide the duffel bags of guns from his view. Oh, about three hours, he said, the derpy expression returning to his face. Those little buggers must walk really, really slow then. I chuckled before forcing him out the front doors and zip-tying them shut. I then went back to work. I cracked the doors open underneath the sink. I set up my makeshift knife guillotines, set to slice the pipes if the red glob returned. I also set up a few fire extinguishers from the shelves around the deli. I set a water bucket next to the old gas stove and began to finish the caulk job on the tiles. I felt bad sealing those little creatures up there, but they took my gun and almost carried away dumbass Filbert. 
The shotguns were hung around the deli with care, in hopes that the crew would not find them there. Yeah, see what I did there? <laughs> anyway, I duct taped underneath the tables and inside the cabinets. I kept the handgun that Stanley had returned to me in my pocket and started to text him. I told him what I had done, and without hesitation, he asked if I needed help. I told him no, but brought up that it was a secret. If those little monsters are coming for me and our deli, I was damn sure gonna be ready. The entry is called the Deli Survival Guide for a reason. Take my advice, follow the rules, and I promise that you'll have a fighting chance against the hordes of creeps that exist here.